Hey, what's going on everybody? Cloak and Daggers here with yet another Entropia Universe video. And you guessed it, we're doing another crafting run today. Uh, the last crafting video I did Simple One Conductors and we came out with a profit of 74 ped. Let's see if we can make that magic happen again. I really doubt it, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky today. So to start off this video, we need to go get our materials. I'm going to go into my personal storage and grab all my animal muscle oil and animal eye oil. And let's see how much we're working with here today. Should be similar to our last run. Okay, so we got 140, oh, stupid web camera. There we go. All right, so we got 143 ped and 23 peck worth of materials. So remember that, because I sure won't. And let's run over to the crafting machine here and see what we got for a setup. I'm going to do very similar to last time. I'm going to uh, edit this, speed it up, and play some fun, funky music for you to listen to. You can watch bits and pieces of it, or you can just skip right to the end. Either way, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, if you do watch it all, awesome. Thanks. That helps out with my watch time. Uh, but just be sure to stick around to the end of the video today because I do have a quick Entropia tip for you. Uh, I think I'm going to start adding these to my videos at the end, throwing out these just quick little snippet tips to make your life a little more pleasant in Entropia Universe. So like I said today, we're doing simple one conductors. And we're doing all 151 clicks. We're probably going to end up with something more like... Um, I'm going to say like maybe 170, 175-ish because we're going to reuse any materials we get back. And we're just going to keep crafting until we're out of materials again like we did last time. All right. So I'm going to fire this up and let's cross our fingers and hope we get some big fat loots out of this.
All right, and I am back. It was actually a pretty decent run. I was getting some really weird lag there at the end, so sorry about that with me trying to stop it and start it there again. Um, it was just the sound and the, the video was just totally off, so I was trying to correct that there. But anyways, we got through it okay. The game didn't crash. That's what I was most worried about was it just, like, crashing and then me losing the whole crafting run and then a whole, whole mess and a lot of editing. Anyways... So we ended up with a total of 172 temps with all our extra materials that we got back. So I was pretty close with my guess there. Uh, so let's see here. As far as fails go, we only had a couple fails. That is one of the key factors of having a maxed out blueprint. I highly recommend if you're going to do any crafting to get a blueprint as high of quality as you can possibly afford. Uh, it really sucks to grind those out. Uh, as far as value went, um, attempt 141, we hit one for 37 ped and four peck that might have put us in the black for this one uh, i'm still not sure uh, if anything we probably broke even but we will find out here in a minute when we check our final materials anyways uh, we got a ton of skill out of this as well super happy about that i hit level five in electronics engineering you saw that if you watched the whole thing so let us check out our stats. Total attempts, 172, success percentage, 45.3, not too shabby. We got 50 ped, 40 peck of simple conductors, 12 ped, 60 peck of muscle oil, 5 ped, 15 peck of eye oil, and 60 ped, 89 peck of animal oil residue for a total of 129.04 but for whatever reason that never seems to be quite right and I'm not exactly sure why so let's just go through our materials that we have into the TT machine to see what we got back okay webcams out of the way and we are at 151.87 and this is where I'm going to put in the profit because I can't do the math right now. So with the magic of video editing, you will see on the screen before you how much we made. But I do know we made a little bit of a profit there, uh, probably like 8 to 10 ped in there somewhere. So not too bad. Um, nowhere near the 74 ped we made last time. But a profit is still a profit. And I'm going to keep crafting these bad boys because I'm going to get another uh, maybe 5 to 8% on these simple one conductors depending on uh, what's all going on with the market and who really, really needs these things. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for this crafting run. And what? God, this guy is annoying. He's scanning everything. We're gonna go outside so we don't have to listen to him. Scan me a hundred million times. And here is the Entropia tip of the day. Uh, my tip, why this guy is following me, isn't he? Maybe not. Okay. Anyways, so, <laughs> um, anyways, so my tip of the day for you is to help you organize your friends list. Uh, not everybody in Entropia Universe is necessarily going to be your quote unquote friend. You're going to have a lot of business associates, people, uh, especially if you're a hunter or miner, you need to sell your stuff. So you're going to have connections with traders and crafters who are gonna probably buy a lot of your materials so you don't have to sell them on the auction house and you can avoid the fees and stuff like that. Um, a lot of other things you can do with your friends list, but what I recommend doing is not maybe necessarily changing people's names, which you can, but what I do is in parentheses, I will put in front of their name how they relate to me. So if they're a disciple of mine, I will put in parentheses disciple and then have their name behind it because well, I mean, I can keep track of my disciples, but it's just easier when you're going through your friends list, and especially if you have a bunch of disciples, you can kind of keep track of them. Um, but if, say, like people buy sweat from me at a certain price, I will put that in their friend description. So I'll put they buy sweat at X amount price, or if they sell me certain items, like there, I got a guy in my friends list who sells me guns at a decent price. So I have him marked in there. Granted, I don't buy a ton of guns from him, so sometimes I forget what his name is, or if I just, you know, trying to sort through everybody, because eventually you're going to have probably a couple hundred people in your friends list, or if you're looking for people to sell and trade your ores and end matters, or whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm rambling here. But anyways, 
this is my tip of the day. You can change people's names. Uh, this was my mentor, but basically how you do it is you right click on them and you go to, let's see here, where was it? Uh, oh, sorry, rename friend. So just like that, so you can keep it. Uh, actually, Serial Killer was not my mentor. I was thinking of somebody else. <laughs> it's been a while. I graduated quite a few years ago. But anyway, so this is how you do it. We're just going to call him friend. Uh, that's not my associates with him. But anyways, you get the idea. That is my tip of the day. And that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of my future Entropia Universe content. And uh, make sure to hit the bell for notifications when I drop new videos. I also make a lot of other video game content, and I'm going to keep branching out as we go in the future. But I will continue to always make Entropia Universe content because it is, like, my favorite game of all time. And... I hope you love it as much as I do because it is a fantastic game. Also, I am trying to expand my social media presence. So if you scroll down in the description below, you can find links to my Twitter and Instagram. And I am starting to be a little bit more active on there. So be sure to follow me, shoot me a DM, whatever. Uh, hit me up on there. That Humvee is really loud, but good for him. Um, and uh, yeah, there's, there's more stuff coming to the channel, making lots of changes. But once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, you have a good one.